Hello, I am Professor Rathod. Uh, now I am going to present on uh, uh, one of the important topic called as boiler mountings and boiler accessories. Now basically what is a boiler? Boiler is nothing but a, a closed vessel in which the heat is produced by combustion of fuel is transferred uh, to water for its conversion into the steam at a desired pressure and temperature. Boiler is also a combination of device for producing and transferring the heat to the water being heated and vaporized to generate a steam. So, boiler cell is made up of a steel plate bent into the cylindrical form and riveted or welded together. The end plates are used to close the uh, ends of the uh, cell. So there are different parts like combustion chamber, grate, furnace, mountings and accessories. Now what are exactly the boiler mountings? Are uh, fittings mounted on the boiler to govern its proper functioning? They are uh, water level indicator pressure gauge safety wall etc now what is exactly boiler accessories these are devices uh, which form an integral part of boiler they are superheater economizer feed pump etc and basically they are used to increase the efficiency of boiler so let us start these are the different uh, uh, mountings you can able to see on this uh, picture and uh, <coughs> what is exactly boiler so one of the definition boiler mountings are machine component that they are mounted over the body of the boiler itself for safety of boiler for complete control of the process of steam generation so boiler is nothing but a steam generation so these uh, mountings are the fittings which are mounted or installed on the boiler for its appropriate and safe working uh, these are the water level indicator and the walls etc etc so exactly what are the bowler uh, mountings mountings as i told you uh, these are mounted on the boiler to govern for the proper or for, or the smooth functioning so boiler mountings are the fittings which are mounted on the boiler for its proper and safe functioning some of those are water level indicator pressure gauge safety walls stop walls blow off cock feed check walls visible plug etc etc are the boiler mounting now you can able to see uh, the exact diagram of water level indicator so exactly the function of it is uh, it indicates the water level inside the boiler vessel it shows the level in the boiler drum so you can able to see the working uh, you can just read it or get it from the uh, ppt so this is the uh, most of the portion so i don't want to read it but as i told you what is the exact function of uh, uh, water level indicator now one of the next uh, mounting that is called as pressure gauge uh, you can able to see in the diagram the pressure gauge uh, uh, pressure gauge burdon's tube it uh, records the gauge pressure elliptical spring tube is uh, called burdon's tube and uh, is made of special quality of the branch that plug is provided for cleaning the siphon tube siphon is filled with cold water to prevent the hot steam entering into the burdon tube and spring tube remains comparatively cool so that is uh, about the pressure gauge you can able to see the diagram of it there is a burdon tube there is a mechanism of the toothing sector that link the hollow block the casing pinion and elliptical spring tube uh, when the steam enters inside into it it indicates or records the pressure gauge so that is you can see able to see the uh, 
वर्किंग ऑफ बर्डन प्रेशर गेज यू कैन एबल टू सी वेन द प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड इन साइड द ओवल बर्डन ट्यूब इट क्रॉस सेक्शन टेंड्स टू बिकम सर्क्यूलर एंड फ्री एंड ऑफ द बर्डन ट्यूब ट्राई टू बिकम स्ट्रेट सो टर्निंग द स्पिंडल बाय द लिंक एंड गियरिंग दिस कॉजेस द नीडल टू मूव एंड इंडिकेट प्रेशर ऑन द ग्रेजुएटेड डायल so one of the next part is safety valves there are different types of safety valve you can able to know a dead weight safety valve a spring loaded safety valve lever loaded safety valve and high steam and low water safety valves now let us see a uh, dead weight safety valve a uh, dead weight safety valve is mounted on the boiler cell with help of bottom of flange it consists of gun metal wall mounted on the gun metal seat there is a vertical cast iron pipe through which uh, a steam pressure acts uh, and uh, the another cast iron pipe b is used to discharge the excess steam from the boiler now weight carries is provided with cylindrical discs of weight in uh, a cover plate the steam pressure acting on in upper direction is balanced by combined load of dead weight uh, weight of the wall a weight carrier and weight of cover plate so when the pressure of the steam uh, exceeds the normal pressure the valves as well as uh, the weights with the cover is lifted up from its seat and this makes the steam to escape through the discharge pipe outside the boiler boiler house and this was the exactly working of the dead weight safety valve now coming to one of the important uh, safety valve that is called as uh, spring loaded safety valve you can able to see the diagram of the uh, spring loaded uh, safety valve uh, spring loaded safety valve is mainly used for locomotive and marine boilers it is located with a spring instead of weights the spring made up of round or square spring steel rods wound in a helical form is placed in compression it consists of a iron body connected to the top of the boiler it has two separate valves resting on the wall seats there are two valves have a separate hollow chest uh, at the base of means of bridge and body it is reunited the valves are held down by means of spring and lever the lever has two pivots that you can able to see in the bottom of that diagram so uh, the lever has an extension which project uh, projects into the uh, cabin by pulling or raising the lever the driver releases the steam from either wall separately now these are various types of spring loaded safety valve uh, that you can able to see the different parts as i have been explained to you so a uh, lever safety valve so what is the function of a uh, uh, lever safety valve uh, the main uh, disadvantage of uh, dead weight safety valve as a uh, heavy heights um or require uh, heavy weights uh, required for the high pressure boiler is uh, eliminated in uh, lever safety valve uh, by use of lever you can see the lever safety valve uh, uh, one of the next part of it uh, high steam and uh, low water uh, safety valve uh, high steam Uh, low water safety valve it is a combined safety arrangement against uh, high pressure and low water level in the boiler it is actually combination of two valves uh, one is lever safety valve which uh, blows off steam when uh, the working pressure of the uh, steam exceeds the uh, preset value 
द सेकेंड वॉल ऑपरेट्स बाय ब्लोइंग ऑफ द स्टीम वेन द वॉटर लेवल इन द बॉयलर फॉल्स बिलो द प्रेजेंट वॉल्यू जैसे स्टीम लो वॉटर सेफ्टी वॉल वन ऑफ द नेक्स्ट इज स्टीम स्टॉप वॉल यू कैन एबल टू सी द डायग्राम ऑफ स्टीम स्टॉप वॉल स्टीम स्टॉप वॉल देर आर द हैंडल योक स्पिंडल वॉल्व एंड वॉल सीट इज देयर द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टीम स्टॉप वॉल इज Uh, to control the flow of uh, steam from the boiler to the main steam pipe uh, to shut off the steam completely when are required so that is the main function of steam stop wall uh, one of the function uh, of uh, the blow of cock in the blow of cock uh, the yoke the spark shank the gland the casing the conical plug inside of it uh, water in and water out from the middle portion the blow of cock the main function is to empty the boiler whenever required for the purpose of inspection and repair to discharge the mud scale or sediments which are accumulated at the bottom of the boiler so you can see its construction uh uh yeah, working uh, when the rectangular hole of the plug is bought into the line which uh, uh, with casing hole by rotating spindle the water flow out when the solid portion of the plug is in front of casing hole the water cannot flow out from the boiler and that is nothing but the function of blow off cock then feed check wall what is a feed check wall you can able to see in the diagram there is a, a hand wheel the spindle inside of it the feed wall the non return wall uh, when the feed water get enters into it the non return wall it cannot uh, uh, return uh, the whatever the fluid that is water getting inside into it so so from it the water to the boiler system uh, is you can able to see in the diagram now exact function of feed check wall is to regulate the supply of water which is pumped into the boiler by the feed pump to prevent the escaping of water from the boiler when pump pressure is less or pump is stopped so so it is a non return wall as i told you its function is to regulate the supply of water uh, which is pumped into the boiler by the feed pump it was the function of feed check wall one more very important uh, mounting that is called fusible plug so in the fusible plug you can able to see the diagram from the top if the steam is entered inside the uh, in between the solid copper plug and gun metal plug uh, inside of it there is uh, a fusible metal is there and uh, Uh, from the bottom there is one of the body that is gun metal body on the gun metal body the gun metal plug is mounted so in between the gun metal plug and uh, solid copper plug there is fusible metal with help of the hexagonal flange so there are the ribs at the bottom uh, and the hollow gun metal uh, is there in the bottom of the diagram you can able to see now exactly how that fusible metal it works inside the fusible plug the main function of it to put off the fire in the furnace of the boiler when the level of water in the boiler falls to an unsafe limit uh, it means the level of the water is decreased and thus avoids the explosion which may takes place due to overheating of the tubes and cells that is the main function of the fusible plug so the next uh the working uh, i have been stated yeah you can able to learn this working from the ppt 
so i cannot read uh, every each and everything and now it was all about the boiler mountings as i told you mountings are all the necessary parts for smooth and proper functioning of the boiler those parts which are mounted either side or on the um, top portion of the boiler shell those all are mounting now what are basically accessories now you can able to see the different parts like pressure gauge stop walls fusible plug etc etc you can able to see now how actually this uh, uh, boiler uh, plant boiler plant with uh, accessories how it works now uh, the boiler accessories are the devices which are used as the integral part of the boiler and helps in uh, are running efficiency though there are many types of boiler accessories but uh, some of the important out of it is air preheater economizer superheater and feed pump so uh there are uh, you can able to see the parts so first one is boiler then superheater then economizer then air preheater so a fresh air which is entered or passes through inside the air preheater and which is uh, supplied to the boiler uh, the next uh, the feed pump you can able to see a feed pump that water passes through the tubes of economizer as the flue gases are passing through the economizer uh, water content and inside the tubes so that water can become hot and that hot water is given to the boiler as a uh, hot air and hot water as supplied to the boiler uh, so there is the formation of the steam with uh, the great efficiency so that the efficiency of the boiler can be increased then from the boiler the steam is supplied to the superheater in the superheater the temperature of the steam is increased so that a good quality of steam is provided to the engine it means a uh, form of uh, when the steam uh, at the certain range of pressure and temperature so it can increase the efficiency of engine when uh, gives the uh, a better efficiency when it's supplied to the engine and then from the superheater it is connected to the economizer and air preheater then finally the flue or the burnt gases which goes to the chimney that is the importance of the um, schematic diagram of the boiler plant now exactly boiler accessories as i told you those are the components which are installed either inside or outside of the boiler to increase the efficiency of the plant and to help the proper working of the plants though these are not uh, uh, the three parts but these are used to increase the efficiency of the boiler what are the exact uh, function of uh, boiler accessories uh, air preheater the economizer the steam superheater uh, feed pump and the injector uh, exactly in short air preheater utilizes the heat of exhaust gases economizer heat is used to raise the temperature of feed water supplied to the boiler A steam superheater is used to super Super heat the steam feed pump raise the pressure of the water and force into the boiler and the injector used to feed water in the boiler. Now let us see uh, what is feed pump. Uh, feed pump. The feed pump is a, a pump which is used to uh, deliver. Uh, feed water to the boiler uh, the double feed pump is commonly employed for the uh, medium size boilers exactly the pressure of the steam inside the boiler is high uh, so the pressure of the feed water should be increased proportionately and uh, before it is made to enter into the boiler generally the pressure of the feed water is 25 percent more than that of the boiler uh, the types of pump used may be the reciprocating or the rotary pump in it the common type of pump used in a double acting reciprocating pump these 
पंप हैज टू सेट्स ऑफ सक्शन एंड डिलीवरी वॉल्स फॉर फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड स्ट्रोक दिस इंश्योर कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई ऑफ फीड वाटर सो यू कैन एबल टू सी द uh double acting reciprocating pump is commonly used uh, you can see the diagram pumps can be classified as simplex duplex and triplex pump according to the number of pump cylinders you can able to see in the diagram uh so it was the function of feed pump now the next part is uh, injector now exactly what is the function of injector uh, you can able to see the injectors uh, function of injector is to use to feed water in the boiler it is commonly employed for vertical boiler and does not find its application in the large capacity high pressure boilers it also uses the more space is not available for the installation for the feed pump you can able to see the different parts of the injector uh, so this was about the injector <coughs> so next part is uh, economizer now exactly this is one of an important part economizer uh, in the bottom pipe a is the bottom header uh, in the top pipe b is the top header on the top header there is worm wheel and pulley arrangement is there worm pull worm wheel and pulley uh, in Uh, contact with the uh, uh, scrapers when the flue gases getting inside into it uh, uh, when the flue gases passing through the tubes uh, the so with help of that flue gases the water content inside the tubes gets hot uh, uh, the vertical water tubes are there the scraper is there the scraper is to used for the cleaning purpose uh, now i can state the main function of the economizer used to heat feed water by utilizing the heat in the uh, exhaust flue gases before leaving through the chimney so as i told you there are the different uh, parts uh, uh, on the topper portion on the top header there is a stop wall uh, hot feed water has been given to the boiler if we have to stop it then it is a function of the stop wall then uh, at the bottom there is uh, cold uh, feed water valve is there that is again one of the stop wall uh, which is connected to the bottom portion uh, below that uh, bottom uh, uh, header there is uh, uh, suit chamber is there so as i told you main function is utilization of the heat in the exhaust flue gases before leaving to the chimney so without an extra uh, uh, effort or the extra arrangement the water inside the tube is uh, made hot and provided to the boiler so that uh, the efficiency of the boiler can be increased so it was uh, one of the important part so exactly working uh, economizer consists of the large vertical cast iron and steel water pipes one end of the vertical pipes is connected to the vertical pipe a uh, vertical pipe a is the bottom header and pipe b is the top header hot flue gases from the boiler pass over the vertical tubes the heat transfer takes place from flue gases to cold water rising in the vertical tubes so now air preheater what is exactly the air preheater you can able to see in the diagrams air preheater uh, from uh, one of the side the flue gases in and flue gases uh, 
out over the tubes uh, 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 inside the tubes the flue gases are enters and from the other side or the counter side atmospheric air over the tubes which takes the proper path due to baffles are provided and that heated air out that shall be provided to the boiler so that the efficiency of the boiler can be increased you can able to see the diagram arrangement of flue gases in and flue gases out inside the multi tubes are provided inside the air preheater and the counter portion over the tubes there is the atmospheric air in and heated air out so that the efficiency can be increased now i can state the exact function of air free heater used to recover heat from the exhaust flue um, uh, gases to increase the temperature of air before it enters into the furnace so it is installed between the economizer and chimney always it consists of plates or tubes with hot gases on one side and air on the other now figure shows the tubular air preheater so the flue gases travel through the inside of the tubes of the air preheater in the direction opposite to that of the air travel and transfer some of their heat to the air to be supplied to the furnace so this is again one of an important part that is air preheater uh, uh, used to recover the heat from exhaust flue gases to increase the temperature of air before it enters into the furnace so that the efficiency of the boiler can be uh, increased so that is why it is called as an accessories there are few advantage of the preheater it increase the boiler efficiency it results the better combustion with less soot smoke and ash it enable a low grade fuel to be burnt with uh, less excess air that is air preheater now what is next uh, is uh, superheater now what is exactly a superheater superheater uh, you can able to see the different parts uh, there are uh, stop walls there are in all together there are uh, uh, stop walls two or three stop walls are provided with help of the ms pipe or the header uh, there is one of the u shaped uh, steel tubes is there uh, there is also at the bottom there is a damper arrangement damper which can allow the flue gases to the chimney so that the flue gases can go to the chimney uh, when the flue gases uh, getting in uh, inside of the water level the flue gases um, uh, from the uh, system the steam enters into the stop walls in the main stop walls uh, through that in the u shape it uh, travels and particularly what happens in the super heater uh, uh, you can able to see in the diagram uh basically it's most important function of the superheater uh purpose it to increase the temperature of steam above its saturation temperature without raising its pressure with the it means pressure remains constant and saturation temperature it means when the temperature reaches at the 100 degrees celsius now in this now it is always placed in the path of hot flue gases uh, from the furnace the heat given up by the flue gases is used in superheating the steam so it as i told you it consists of u tubes which are connected to the two mild steel boxes or the headers so exactly like the state it work when a stop wall uh, a is closed uh, stop wall b uh, are in the open position in the steam flows from the boiler into the uh, right hand header via uh, another stop wall after uh, superheating the steam in the u tubes it flows into the left hand 
header from where it is withdrawn through the stop wall another stop wall when or stop wall b when superheated steam is not needed the stop wall b or one more stop wall uh, there are two or three stop walls are used now here uh, stop wall b and c are closed and then the steam is directly taken out from the boiler through stop wall a so the what are the applications of the superheater this is basically used in textile industries power generation plants and chemical industries uh, so this is about the superheater now the next it is working as i have been stated uh, uh, the uh, the uh, advantages we can see again efficiency of the steam plant is increased erosion one type of corrosion that erosion of the turbine blades is eliminated loss due to the condensation in the cylinders and the steam pipes are reduced uh, steam consumption of engine or the turbine is uh, reduced uh, or basically to superheat the steam generated by the boiler uh, superheaters are heat exchangers in which heat is transferred to the saturated steam to increase its temperature and its main function of uh, uh, the uh, superheater it was and the steam separator uh, the steam separator you can able to see in the diagram uh, there is inlet and outlet system how the steam can be separated uh, whenever the moisture is content inside the steam it can separate it now a steam separator uh, sometimes referred to as a moisture separator uh, it is a device for separating water droplets from the steam the simplest simplest type of steam separator is the steam dome of steam locomotive uh, stationary boilers and nuclear nuclear reactors may have more complex devices which uh, impart a spin to the steam so that uh, water droplets are thrown outwards by centrifugal force and uh, collected it means uh, if any vapor or the steam contains a moisture it can separate that is the main function of steam separator now exactly uh, what is the difference between the mountings and accessories uh, what are the boiler mountings as i told you as i told you mountings are necessarily for uh, chargeable uh, changeable the boiler uh, compulsory parts uh, without which the mounting uh, without the mounting the boiler cannot function smoothly or properly and accessories are an auxiliary or the extra parts which are uh, used or attached with the system uh, uh, to the boiler for increasing its efficiency now i will state uh, all the important difference between uh, boiler mountings and boiler accessories now boiler mountings are uh, components used for ensuring the safety of boiler operation boiler accessories are the auxiliary atoms required for proper operation of uh, boiler and improve the efficiency of it now the next point i can state there are generally they these are these parts are generally mounted on the uh, surface of uh, the boiler either on the top or the side of it and accessories these are the integral parts of the boiler but not mounted on it but these are the auxiliary uh, exo uh, auxiliary uh, parts uh, which are used to increase the efficiency now next part of the boiler uh, next point or the next difference uh, boiler mountings control the fluid parameters at the inside of the boiler cell and the same point for boiler accessories accessories control a fluid parameter at the outside of the boiler 
now one of the next point we can say uh, boiler mountings are essential part of the boiler without which boiler operation is impossible but whereas for boiler accessories these parts are not essential of the boiler without which boiler can operate through though uh, at the lower efficiency so the it is the important uh, uh, differentiate or the comparison between the boiler mountings and accessories but what it is importantly what are the examples of uh, uh, the boiler mountings are pressure gauge pressure gauges uh, maybe the burden pressure gauge water level indicator uh, safety wall stop wall fusible plugs etc the mountings are are again of two type one is uh, safety fitting and another one is control fitting the parts which makes the system safety those are safety fitting and uh, another parts which controls the system those are called as uh, uh, the control fittings now uh, what are the uh, best examples what are the auxiliary parts used in boiler accessories are uh, superheater feed pump injector economizer steam separator air preheater these are all the important examples and i think for the examination point of view also the difference between boiler mounting and boiler accessories are important for examination as well as the knowledge point of view so this is the difference between boiler mounting and accessories so thank you dear friends so in this uh, boiler mountings and accessories we have seen all the different mountings and uh, different accessories how it helps for the proper functioning and how it can increase the efficiency of the boiler now i think you can able to understand uh, the importance of mounting as well as the accessories of the boilers boilers is finally nothing but a steam generator thanks thank you